So what we're going to do today is dismantle the stub axle assembly on the front axle. So there's various parts we have to take off first, including this shaft here, which is called the pero shaft, which operates the brakes. As it rotates, it expands the brake shoes, which then touch the inside of the drum and slow the car down. So we have to take that out of the way and the back plate so that we could then get, gain access to the kingpin. To get the kingpin out, we have to drive it up and then we can take the stub axle assembly off. So it's just lots, lots of nuts and bolts and split pins as usual. So we'll just work our way through it as we dismantle it. So I'll start off with the pero shaft and there's a pivot point on the back of the pero shaft here which I'll take off first. Right, now that's released that. So what I'll do is take the ball joint out of the housing and then I'll just pull the pero shaft out. That's great. I'll just put that down out of the way. Now I can release the back plate all the way out of the way. And now I'll top, take the top mounting for the pero shaft out the way. Now we can see the top of the kingpin. The kingpin is held in place by a cotter which goes through that hole. It's a taper pin. So we drive the taper pin out and that allows the uh, kingpin to now move. So all it has to do is come up and I'll probably have to drive that out with a punch. Right, that's coming out freely now, all the way out. So that is now the kingpin, which we can clean up, crack test, and make sure there's no issues with that. The stub axle is now able to come off. I'll just slide that off. And there's a thrust washer on there as well. So there's the stub axle assembly. That can now came, come out of the way. Now the axle is stripped. So all we need to do now is take the U-bolt bolts out and then we can take the axle out of the chassis.